Hey everyone, I'm back finally doing this video. I've wanted to do this for quite some time now, but as you could have tell from my last video, I was a little under the weather, but I'm better because um, even after that cold, I had gotten the stomach flu. Mm. And now work is crazy busy um, now that December's here and everyone wants their dogs groomed for Christmas, so I somehow have to fit them in. I'm working a lot. So tonight, um, I don't have any dogs tonight at the house, so I've actually have quite, uh, I don't know, uh, more energy tonight as well, so that's good for doing this video. Um, so let's say I worked until 5 o'clock, picked the kids up from the sitters, had dinner, at least I had that going in the crock pot, so we had dinner. And what did I do? Put, uh, started a little, or I put uh, laundry in the dryer for my son's bed sheets. And then we played a game of Battleship, and then I did dishes, and then I put another load of laundry in, and then I made banana muffins. Crazy. <laughs> Just thinking about it now, actually. And it's 9.38 right now. So I've got to do this video before the, the lull sets in. It's like, ugh, I'm too tired. <laughs> so, okay. So I have a lot to show you. I really do. Sorry for that boring waffling spiel. <laughs> I have a finish. I have uh, two major current whips that I'm working on, and I actually did start a new whip as well, new start. So let's do the finish first. I'm sure you guys all want to see. I'm sure you can guess what it is if you've been watching me all the time. It's my Macintosh mill. It's done. I don't know if Claire watches this at all, but Pyrex Stitches, thank you so much Claire for your help. I had forgotten. Um, so I was reading the backstitch instructions and about the French knots, and I'm like, I don't know where this yellow dot for French knot is. I don't, I was looking and looking, and then she told me where it was because she did this one already. I was like, oh yeah. Anyway, it's all rolled up, so it might be a little, oh, I haven't seen this in a while. Because actually I finished this. Um, three or four weeks ago, actually. And then I got sick. So, okay. I'm sure you guys all know what it... Anyway, there it... Um, there it is. Can I get it all in? There you go. There's my Macintosh mill. So I can't wait to get those wrinkles out. My goodness. And go in for the close up. Do, do, do. Wish I had some background music for you. Don't know where we are. Yeah, so it is done. So happy, actually. Um, a lot of the back stitching. And oh, there was tons of French knots. So I'm a pro at French knots now. Finally got the trick. The knack down. I think my problem before was I was never using two strands or three strands. It was always one, I thought, because it was a backstitch instruction. So usually you're backstitching with just one single strand, and it was, it never, when you pull it through, it just never knotted. It just always went through, and I'm like, what the heck? But now, when if it's doubled or, or even sometimes actually even tripled, comes out nicely. Um, then it works. <laughs> yeah. Never knew. Because it, I don't remember ever seeing instructions using two strands for French knots. It's because it's always one for backstitching. Anyway, moving on to the current whips that I have been working on. I'll show you this one first because this is the one I've been mostly working on. 
when I was sick and the last time you saw it. So this is my sorry, what is this? Northern Expressions Needlework. It's called Shades of Gold. This is working with Gloriana Flory Mill. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <clears throat> but last time you saw it, I started it and I just started a little bit in the corner. Pretty sure that's all that I've shown before on it. But I've done quite a lot on it. And I'm really liking it. And it's going to be big. Okay, there it is. There it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to say this fabric is thirty two. I forget. <laughs> I got it from my local needle workshop. And um, 32. It's not an even weave. I'm pretty sure she called this linen, but it's a very soft. Can't be linen because it's so no. I guess it could be linen. Pearl. Pearl linen. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Pearl linen. Does that make sense, to anyone? Anyway, gotten used to the fabric, gotten used to the thread, so amazingly, I haven't made any huge mistakes. I've had to back up a little bit here and there, but yeah, actually there's one, not a mistake, it's just an extra stitch where there shouldn't be, but by the time I notice it, I'm like, especially with this thread, it's very hard to unpick because it and it doesn't look right again and I'm like even though the one stitch is touching another stitch where it's supposed to be blank I'm like, ugh, no one's going to know and I'm not going to point it out to you <laughs> so yeah pretty pretty and as you can see okay so remember where this is I'm just doing like right there Look, so like here, look how much more there is to do. It's big. But I've got lots of fabric. Should fit. And I'm so happy it fit. Look how good I eyeballed that. <laughs> well, I didn't really eyeball it, but I knew I wanted like two-ish inches on either side. So, yeah, I started on this side. Yeah. Anyway, that is that. Pretty happy with it. It's pretty fun. If you ever get a chance to pick up one of their, her, she's actually Canadian from Port Dover, which is like, honestly, 30, 40 minutes for me. Weird. Um, grab one up and stitch it. It's really nice. I like working just two symbols, two symbols, two colors, and that's that. Really nice. Okay, next one, moving on um, to the other one. I actually was working on this the last few days. Um, I haven't done too much to it because I've been working on that one. That's the thing. I get into really, I get into a whip and I'm really liking it and liking it. And I'm thinking in my head, oh, I should really do more on the other one. But I'm like, I'm really enjoying what I'm working on. So I'm like, that's why I can't, I can't do rotations or whatever because I'm like, I like the one I'm working on. I'm having fun. Why? Why switch? Just do more progress on that one and then before you know it, it's done. But this one's getting there. This is the, I'll show you a picture, the Pullivan's Quilts for All Seasons inspired by Jessie Marie. Although I haven't seen her progress lately. Jessie, where are you? <laughs> uh, oh my goodness, I almost was going to show you the pattern. Silly me, because I'm so used to opening to that page. <laughs> I'm so used to opening to the page of the pattern. I almost was going to show you the pattern. Um, there it is. 
that's what it looks like. Dun, 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 dun. And oh, hopefully you can see. It's going to be kind of see-through. And that's what I've got. So the one so I'll just use my chest. So the one side's completely done. Not back stitching. I haven't really been doing it as I go just because I feel like it's a small piece that I don't mind doing it at the end. And I just finished the quilt last night, or this week anyway. I finished all the colors in there. And I started, and then I did more of the shading on top. I think they're half stitches, yeah. And then I was going to start working more on the wagon on this side going down. That's the plan. Sorry, I gotta hold it still because I know how annoying it is when someone keeps moving the whip and I'm like, I just want to see. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I didn't have coffee, but I have tea. I have tea. There's nothing else in there. See my snowman? Yes, that's the kind of night I'm having. So there, holding it still. Yes. And, and this is on a 32 count linen. I know this is linen because this is very flimsy and see-through. Yes. Okay, moving on. i got lots to show you, lots to talk about. Moving on. Moving on. New whip. Okay. Very, very quickly. Everyone keeps talking about it. I keep seeing it. I'm like, okay, I'm jumping on this bag bandwagon. This is my first Clouds Factory pattern. My first maybe monthly-ish sal. Do I, I don't even think I printed it at the top cover. No. But it's the Magical Creature sal. Yay! Oh, and now that I haven't... I only worked on it one night. At like I started at like 11 o'clock. I'm like, okay, I've decided. Let's do it. <laughs> so... And then I'm like, I had to start it, I had to see what the border looked like. And I wasn't sure of the colors. And, but now actually looking at it, I kind of like it. And I know you want to see too, but let me just second. I was almost going to do it on this fabric. This is a 28 count Joblin Autumn Splendor by hand dyed by Stephanie, but it's an 18 by 26. It may have fit, but there, I was worried about not having room about, not framing, but not having room, room, room to put it on the Q-snaps and working on it, because um, it would be very close, and that's what I was kind of worried about. And so I held it up to, to this other piece of fabric I had, and even though the tag said it was also 18 by 26, there literally was an inch more... And yeah, an inch, maybe a smidgen more on this piece of fabric. So I'm like, if that gives me more room, then that's the piece we are going with. Which is good, which is fine because that actually, actually kind of mimics the background that the pattern picture is on. That makes sense. Anyway, this is all I've gotten done. Yes, it's see through. Hi. And this, if you, I don't know if you can remember or if you're a huge follower of mine, but this fabric was supposed to be for my, I'm not going to find this downstairs, but my, the company's called X's and O's. It's the pattern with this tree in the corner and then this kid on the swing. Uh, remember I was having problems trying to find the nice blue sky looking background for it. And when I ordered it, I ordered it exactly... Um, babbling brook fabric this came in and I'm like that's not what I want it's too blue it's too blue water looking not sky anyway so I found a use for it I'm going to do it and silly me what I've also decided to do can I even find it yes in my box I like these Michaels boxes for my projects. I haven't taken the sticker off, but they're actually a scrapbook case. 
they fit 11 by 11 Q-snaps. All my threads, patterns in it. So I like, that's what I like doing. Anyway, so for the border, I've decided to use this DMC color variations. I've never used them before, but it was in the box that I had bought in with a few other colors. It was on clearance. This is number 4211, if you're interested. Very pretty. So, yeah, two strands of that. What I also decided, because this is a magical creature type thing, I wanted some sparkle. And I thought, well, let's just add a strand of this rainbow blending thread. Because I used two strands with one white strand for my snowman, if you remember, my snowman. So I was, this is very annoying, very annoying. Even when I, um, uh, ah, losing words, <laughs> I think that's going to help, uh, measure out my thread and measure this out. I always leave even like a little tail on the top end. And even, I'm not even done using my thread, somehow it gets shorter and shorter, and it's shorter than my, I don't know if I can show you, but, so I always leave it, oh, I can't see, maybe my blue shirt, I always leave it longer, sorry, that's not helping, anyway, it moves, there, there. but it does, when I pulled it out just then and I looked at it, I was like, oh yeah, that looks nice. So it does add a bit of sparkle. Let me show you again. Do you see it? Yes? No? It's only one strand, so... But it's magical. Magical. Okay, anyway, moving on, moving on. Gotta move on. Especially gotta move on because... Uh, I don't know if my husband might be home from work soon. I don't want that interruption, you know. Okay, so that was a uh, losing words again. <laughs> I hope I'm not bothering your evening, really. I'm tired, overworked, and I'm now making noise, taking that sticker off. <laughs> but now I gotta do it. It's just bothering me. Okay. Done. What else I have to show you? Okay, a few weeks ago, my nice hubby that I have, he got found some magazines for me at a thrift store, and he picked it up. See there, a lot of them are what are they called? Cross stitch and country crafts. Sorry, I was reading that upside down. Um. I'm not going to go through like page by page because that will take all night and I don't want to take up any more of your time. Ah, 18 minutes, okay. But I've highlighted some things I just wanted to show you that I thought were hilarious because these, we're going back to 1992. Some of these are 80s. That's funny. Um, I actually can't even remember what I highlighted. Well, things that I like too. Like, um, look at that witch. Oh, cute. It's pretty big but cute. So that was cute. That's 1992 celebrations. It looks backwards to me, but I think when it uploads, it's not, but celebrations to cross stitch and craft. There's that nautical theme on the front. Not quite my taste, but eh. I'll have to put it on the floor because I don't have any room. Turn this around. Um, this one doesn't have any stickers, but it's got a stocking. Oh yeah, the stocking is, um, look at it. It's a needle, it's a sewing room. Look at the stocking, it's a sewing room. There's the old sewing and then needlework, it's doing cross stitch. Isn't that cool? I don't know if I'll ever do that, but, because there's a lot. I looked at the pattern and I was like, ah, that's a lot of work. But heck, I did that Jan and Autumn sampler. That was a lot of work. 
anyway, that's fun. Nothing in there, but I'll just show you the covers. Um, that <laughs> it's cute, but I don't know, like the cross stitch is all in the clothes and stuff, but I don't know how to make make dolls and stuff. So, um, nice and country charm, nineties. Oh yeah, these were only like twenty five cents. We got them from. These are kind of cute. I don't mind that hummingbird. Those are kind of cute. It's got a bit of hard danger in it. Scared of that. Don't want to do hard danger first. Okay, that's my favorite. I'll show you last. Ah. Sorry. Nose is going. Now I know what Jessie Marie means. Okay. And this one, I wouldn't know which one to do for me either. The sewing room stocking or the music one. Because music is... I used to play a lot of music. I played the flute for so long and I was good actually. <laughs> and I was, in, I was in a youth symphony and everything. Almost went to school for music actually. Ah, I pulled it off. Okay, so this is, has some trees. Nice, lovely trees. Um, oh, yeah, I thought those were kind of cute. Those are nice flowers. If you can see what kind of flowers they are. Hydrangeas. I'm not a gardener. Why am I wasting time finding it? I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, and I thought this was just hilarious. I had to show you. So, what year is this? 1991. Okay, so it's got like, you know, advertising and stuff in the back. <laughs> this is so funny. It's got a living room for Barbie. Does anyone else remember having a couch like that? <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? I think it's crocheted. Or plastic canvas. Might be plastic canvas. But that's... I just... As... I laughed. It's plastic canvas. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. It's like going back in time. And there's a boy farming with a pig. Nothing in this book. Uh, nothing in this one either. But you never, you never know. Uh, this is a good one. This is cute. Where's the... Oh, it must be in that one. Uh, this is an actual cross-stitch one. Halloween one. And is it in this one? Oh yeah, it is in this one. Okay. So the funny, really funny thing is in my favorite book, but... Look at this one. I think he paid like three dollars and something for all these magazines and even if he didn't get the other magazines I'm so glad he got this one because I would pay three dollars just for this pattern look at that one and the funny thing is a few weeks later someone posted a picture and they were doing this <laughs> I swear yeah I swear they were doing this one were they doing this one I swear, it looked exactly like it. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to have to go look for that picture now. But no, I'm pretty sure. Because they had the whole lattice, the flowers and everything. They were almost done, this border. I swear, it looked just like it. But anyway, it reminds me of a Chatelaine. Like, look at the middle. Doesn't it? Like, it reminds me of, like, let's say, an easy Chatelaine. It's like an, the arbor and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Although I have to like blow up the pattern because it's like teeny tiny and my eyes are good, but I don't want to like strain them. Anyway, this was hilarious. I would never, I would do the border. This kind of freaks me out a little bit, to be honest. 
and I forget what my daughter called it. It was so funny what she said. But anyway. <laughs> Look at that. Um, it's a carousel horse. I like everything up to there. <laughs> they put a rabbit's head on the carousel horse. Doesn't that look a little funny, weird, odd, freaky? <sighs> I don't know. Focus on Eden Weep, Damask Eda. I'm not even talking about a bunny. Weird. <laughs> and then my sister, or my sister, my daughter, she said something hilarious about it. Like a I forgot what she said, but it was funny. Anyway, enough of that, enough of that. There's another book, Country Crafts. Very boring. And something I got like three months ago that I totally forgot to show you in my last video. I actually got a Moe's, I can't remember, Moe's Floss order. When she had like, I just got like the, um, the mixed baggie. It was like on sale for like 17 or something. And uh, Moe's Sale, yeah, Moe's Sale Floss just a mixed bag. I'm not going to show you. But I have most floss now. Yay! Most house floss. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> I almost ordered more, but I was like, no. I can see how addicting it is. But I'm like, no. I have some. Haven't even touched it yet. Not quite sure what I'm going to use it for because, I mean, yeah. I love that. Like, I can do maybe use that, but the really heavy variegated ones. Um, not quite sure what they're going to do with that, but it smells so good. They smell so good. Anyway, I think, I think that's it. I think that's it. So, yeah, that's it, folks. Any questions? Just don't hesitate. Any comments? Don't hesitate. Um, yeah, so this is going to be my last video till the new year because I'm probably going to pass out from all the work. No, literally, I'm working seven days a week. My, my first day off is Christmas Day. Um, I know, I know, I'm like a workaholic, but I can't, I'm bad. <laughs> But, uh, of course I'll be happy at the end of the month, my wallet will be quite full, but, yeah, I'll be making the money, but I, I'll be too tired to spend it, to do anything with it. Anyway, sorry, enough of that. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. I know I'm looking forward to it very much. Although, I asked my daughter, can one of my presents be sleeping in? <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> like, oh, that would be really nice, sleep on Christmas Day. But it's really nice to see the excitement on their faces, though, too. I'm really excited. So, yeah. I hope yours is well. And uh, enjoy your time with your families. And I hope you all have a very safe and happy new year. And I will see you in the new year, because January 1st, I have to put the first block in. Yeah, so I got to get going on that border. And, oh my goodness, we're at 30 minutes. I hope I haven't annoyed you too much, but I think I have the sillies tonight. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go watch some Outlander, because I finally got Show Me up and running, and Outlander's on it. Yay! So, I'm going to start that up, and... Pick which stitching to do. Okay. Good night, everyone. Bye.